Okay, so good good evening to all IEM and UEM family members, and I'm sure that you are able to see and hear me. And here is a presentation today from Professor Pritha Nashkar from the University of Engineering and Management, UEM Jaipur, Civil Engineering Department. And the topic is uh, no, not civil engineering. The topic is work from home in pandemic situation. So yes. An imp important topic, an interesting topic. So definitely, you are, we are going to benefit a little about how work from home in pandemic situation can be better. Professor Pritha, it's all over to you. You may kindly take over from here. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon, respected Chancellor, sir, Vice Chancellor, sir, Dean, sir, all HODs, and my dear colleagues. Today, my topic is work from home in pandemic situation. We have been working from home for more than a year and we all are becoming familiar in this process day by day. But sometimes I feel that we yet to get the utmost level of efficiency because we are surrounded by negative energy because from the negative news of pandemic that we are receiving every day or every moment with this situation to keep calm and to keep balance between our work life and our family life is very important thing. To do better and best, if we structure our life in some routine, then definitely we can cope up with all restraints, with all constraints that we face day by day. So we all know that the novel coronavirus a pandemic sweeping across the globe has challenged society in ways once considered inconceivable, forcing people to reconsider a wide variety of practices from work to leisure to basic travels and daily tasks. To fight against this adverse situation, series of measures have been implemented. From we have suspended schools, colleges, universities, uh, suspect, included, uh, including public gathering limits, special work arrangement like work from home, and it, had, it has info, uh, enforced from all sectors, from IT sectors to teaching sector. So first of all, what is the actual definition of work, work from home? Work from home patent, a concept of working in a concern where the employees don't have to commute to a concentrate or to a central single place of work. It is also called telecommuting. So, so many problems, so many um, constraints we may, uh, we may feel day by day in our daily life. How to overcome, how to, um, go, how to keep going a smooth work life, how, how to relate our work life with our family life, how to keep balance, this all I'm going to discuss in my next slides. So for a good work, for a good work from home, a work setting a functional workspace is very much important. Because if without a workspace, without a functional workspace, we can be demotivated. We cannot give our maximum, our utmost output. So set up for a functional workspace, an ergonomic table and chair is very much important because our working time is almost 8 to 10 hours for irregularly. If we are not comfortable enough to, uh, while delivering our lectures, while attending seminars, workshops, then we can be cluttered in, uh, in so many activities. We cannot give our good output. So an ergonomic table chair is very much important for a functional workspace. Setting up our office area with some more good light. Yes, we know to increase our productivity, light plays an important role. If we choose an area for office setup in front of the window or in front of any place where adequate amount of natural light is available, then automatically it can refresh our mind. We can present our, us more enthusiastically which is very important for all 
for all, uh, for us for all of us for work from home and for, it is very important for teaching learning process also organized is a basic thing being organized in our life uh, also important being as as much as important being organized in workspace okay everything is organized surrounding us our laptop our pen our, um, our our notes our diaries everything is there but we don't know what to do we missed we can miss some our deadline we can miss our some responsibilities because we have so many responsibilities along with our teaching responsibility so what i my, what i feel or what i suggest if in the morning when we wake up from the bed if we jot down our all activities or in short we can make a to do list then it will be uh, it will it, it can be helpful to running a smooth work from home process we cannot jiggling in too many um, too many activities we cannot miss our deadline but from the childhood itself from our teachers from our parents we listen so many things first you have to wake up you have to do to do this but how many of us really do this i remember in my uh, exam time when i was in college i uh, okay before one month i used to do that but now it is a way of practice it's less of practice we are not following this if we follow this then we can be able to more organized with our work the next point is invest in organizational tools yes organizational tools are important for a smooth running office for online classes like a, an example for online classes i find our noise cancellation headphone a pen tap is very important why because it is not possible for all of us to create a noise free space in our home we uh, maybe somewhere we can uh, fix our workspace in our bedroom because we don't have any kind of spare room also so how we can manage with the situation our noise cancellation cancellation headphone if we buy if we invest in that then it will be more helpful the, uh, on the last year when i used to deliver my lecture through ppt through some uh, some, some video so then i i couldn't find it more um, effective but when i bought a pen tap i find it more i found it more effective a uh, more um, problem problem based subject more derivation so I, I can practice along with my students because we know so many materials so many notes so many videos all are available in online then what is the need of us what is the need of a classroom a classroom is basically a practice a live practice session and in this session a pen tap is most important thing so we have to uh, invest some of the amount for um, to in in the organizational tools to run our work smoothly get the internet speed we all know without internet it is not feasible this work from home is it's not possible but during deliver our lecture during attending some um, important workshop some important seminar if our data get over then what to do then we will miss some important thing we can miss uh, while delivered lecture uh, student can get less interest with in our class so first of all we ensure that in our home we should uh, we, we should uh, keep some buy some router and keep our internet speed with with the help of some speed wi-fi or something like that to overcome the delay to overcome the hindrance whatever we we may get face these days because of internet speed so this is the basic thing and this is very important thing for setting up a functional workspace and along with this create aesthetical aesthetic look is like 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 some decorative look of our workspace because uh, in one third of the time one third of the whole day we are going to spend there so if sometimes we get demotivated sometimes we are very exhausted then that time if 
if we see a small plant, if we put a small plant in front of our desk, then automatically we can re-energize ourselves. Or instead of that, we have seen in our classroom so many posters, so many positive posters, um, so many things are there. Why? To create an ambience. If we create that ambience in our home, for a small place, suppose uh, uh, in the back of our chair or the back of our table. So it is visible for our students, for someone, for our colleagues, for someone who is in, uh, for someone who is in video conferencing for uh, while delivering lecture. Then it is, it will be more helpful. It will spread more positivity and it will uh, give more effectiveness. And last, but also this is. I, I think this is very important thing that whatever it may, may be, how much we are tired, we, we get tired, how, how much we uh, exhaust, no matter, we have to keep clean our desk after a full day because we don't want to, um, we don't want to start again the next day with a messy desk, which can spread negativity, which can spread negative energy. Then, then the next thing is learn technology. How many of we, we actually, we, we knew about Google Meet, how to, um, how to uh, create video conferencing via Zoom. I, till now I'm just suffering, suffering and suffering. And I, I till now I'm uh, trying to, uh, I, I'm trying to learn new technologies to smooth uh, my work, uh, to run our my work smoothly so learning technology also as a thing which we have to give importance along with our work whenever we can get some time we have to explore the how the technology what are the things that they like in video recording we can use screen recorder loom is a, 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 a software for video conferencing zoom is there after uh, when I used to take class after some day uh, that um, something came that in Zoom some data is just corrupting and the data is um, uh, spreading everywhere. Then uh, quickly we turn to Google Meet. Like this, day by day, we have to prepare ourselves. We have to prepare, we have to enhance our effectiveness to learn technology because we don't know how much, how far this process, this work from home, these things will go on. We don't know actually. <clears throat> now, this slide is about workflow. So, after setting up a functional workspace, after learning everything, we know everything, but we have to consider my only colleague, my only friend, my everything is only this laptop or a mobile phone. No one is there that they will, no one is there, our colleague, they will continuous remind, remind us, hey, do these things, do that things, this is the time, time, nothing is there. So we have to plan accordingly. So we can uh, achieve our efficiency. We can uh, finish our deadline. We can uh, complete our, we can achieve all the, everything about our responsibility. So planning is very necessary for a good workflow. <clears throat> Without a planned workflow, we can lost our interest in our work. It may become more complicated to finish. We can miss our deadline. So first of all, we have to identify what are the outcomes why I should go for this course? Why I should attend this? Whatever the outcomes that we shall jot down, how it can give me more, um, uh, more uh, flexibility, how it can help me to, uh, to grow more in, in our career, in our work time. So identifying ultimate outcome is very much important. After that, we have to list out the task in daily basis. As I said before, to prepare a to-do list like that, this is also the same thing. Whatever the task for which date, for particularly like us today, whatever the task I have, first of all, I have to jot down that. 
after that if anything remaining that also i have to write which is important which is more important which is less important then everything we have to plan accordingly or full day creating a series of steps creating a series of steps is like how how we can uh, what is the procedure actually how we can how it is feasible how we can um, sp uh, split our time so these steps is not about uh, about following some rule or following some formula it is about it it is um, solely individual it can be different from one to another but if we maintain a steps a series of steps if we follow that then it will be more helpful and setting duration for each time yes setting duration is very much important because apart from our class what are the thing in our in today in tomorrow or in daily basis if we split some times for each and every activity then we can be updated we can finish everything in time it's not like that something okay i have finished something that i i didn't touch yet this kind of this kind of problems can't be arise if we plan it thoroughly and for keeping a smooth workflow communication also is very important why because we cannot see anyone we cannot see our students we cannot see our colleagues we cannot see our office members so be proactive in communicating with all with colleagues with students in absence of seeing students colleagues on daily basis it's easy to take normal communication we must be proactive in keeping line of communication open so no one feels isolated or left in the dark set expectation from the start yes for a smooth transition to the work it is important to outline our expectation add as we can't assume our colleagues our students will be on the same page during work hours ask for communication preferences ask why we should ask we, while communicating with someone we should prioritize their preferences whether it is voice call whether whether it is video call whether whether it is some other media he is uh, he or she is familiar or not uh, they know it or not if they don't know it we have to elaborate but we should give preference for how the communication process can go on for others adapt new communication is a day by day we are adapting so many things we now we can create a google form now we can create a question paper in google spreadsheet but previously all of us didn't know it we, we didn't know how to do how but we are learning day by day and for communication tools also so many tools nowadays we are practicing and we are achieving our excellence so we have to adapt along with our work this is also kind of this thing also we have to consider as our main work and next thing is watch your tone what is watch your tone actually actually a gesture is very important for communication of our body language a face a facial expression it can play an essential role for our communication when we not in position to meet any person physically then it's important to the to the words which we are going to use to have more weight and if in we are in voice call we should uh, watch our tone we should listen to our tone is it um, okay uh, it, uh, because um, so anyone doesn't feel disrespect because we are not in front of anyone that if, 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 that they can feel us they can um, understand what actually we are trying to say trying to tell trying to uh, speak okay <clears throat> prioritize video calls yes video calls is sometimes video calls also sometimes very important sometimes only in via phones or only via something is it's not uh, right enough or is not enough uh, for for anything uh, uh, not for only work from home not for only work only uh, if we in break time if five minutes or ten minutes if we if we do video calls with our colleagues and we share something about our work we share some um, healthy gossips 
then we share some knowledge then it can help yeah, and we can be more enthusiastic we can um, we can get our priority we can prioritize our work so a video call is also an important thing give more lead time on task nowadays we are in that position we have to understand yes we are not, we are we don't have to commute from one place to another place we can save that time or that that time that uh, um, for, for commuting the time we can save but we have to understand that full day when we are in home we have to uh, all all we have to uh, keep balance between so many responsibilities between our work between our family maybe some uh, our parents uh, some of us have children um, towards our children so so many uh, work so many tasks simultaneously we are doing we are in we are involved in it so for every task to give grace time or some lead time is necessary it's not for only uh, it's not for only um, uh, with colleagues only the working only for us it's it's all or for students also when we are giving assignments in uh, our offline class what we did these things we cannot do in this situation we have to give them some time more we have to understand their problem keep the office culture alive even at home yes these all things is uh, mainly focused to keep the office culture alive because in office there is some routine there there was some routine some practices but we we are getting out of practice of that if we are ready if we focus to our work more uh, if we give to um, uh, achieve more excellence if to if we give uh, give uh, want to give our most um, uh, most uh, important output I mean 100 uh, percent output then to keeping office cul office culture even in our home if alive is very important thing <clears throat> so while work from home so many distractions we may uh, get so many kind of this so so much uh, so many distraction that we cannot concentrate so many things can be there how we can cope up with this Sometimes we feel bored while working something, while doing question paper, while um, evaluation, or while uh, uh, doing some project work, or some um, research work. We can feel exhausted. We can, our brain cannot work properly. Then playing background music or playing an audio book during work day help to increase the concentration. Break up the work break up your work break up our work is very important thing a pomodoro technique a technique is there which is invented by francesco crelio in the late of 1980s and in this technique that generally 25 minutes length after 25 minutes length of total work time we have to take break time for three to five minutes why because if we take this kind of break time after a long schedule after some work then after a short break we can be highly focused towards our work so if it is not possible to maintain 25 minutes to 30 minutes no problem but we sh should take at least some break time after a long work time after a long class after a class we should take three to five minutes break in that break time we may uh, walk in the balcony we may walk we may garden or watering our garden we may do some uh, do some uh, chores some daily activity then like that we can refresh our mind and we can start um, again enthusiastically getting get dressed is very much important because maintaining maintaining a prop, uh, proper official dress is very much important to improve our focus because everything is everything set up everything is there but if we are in our home um, in, in our home garments if what whatever we are wearing in daily basis that just uh, we are putting and uh, with that 
we are starting our day we are going to start our day then definitely it will um, break our concentration after some time we feel lethargic we feel sleepy so get rest is very much important to control distraction towards our work fight the urge of multitask basically i believe multitask is a positive word we if someone is a multitasker it means two or three words he can handle simultaneously then this is very good but in this aspect it is not it is not good it can distract our mind because there are millions of distraction in online forum so many web channels are there like netflix amazon so many uh, media are there like uh, uh, like facebook twitter insta so if we if we do multitasking with all these along with our work it definitely Uh, give some adverse result it definitely not acceptable because we cannot actually concentrate anywhere so we have to fight we have to make our mind to uh, to get rid from this kind of multitask from this kind of activity and we have to establish a clear boundaries yes when we are in our home i fail so many times I, I i am sure so many of my colleagues they also feel that whenever we are working something important someone came like our parents so uh, children came our pet came and they want to share something they want to play with us sometimes in you know, some activity they are doing but we have to care, establish this is only on us tactfully we have to handle it and we have to establish a clear um, un um, imaginary boundaries so no one can come no one can disrupt no no one can disrupt with our you know work time we have to bound the time and we can make them uh, understand by uh, by that do not disturb some put uh, some uh, uh, note that like do not disturb i am enemy i am in, in a meeting after some times i am coming like that if we practice this then they will also understand yes this is important we sure and like this uh, we can control the distraction and sometimes listen to your body listen to our body is very important if we get very much tired if we uh, can't continue whatever we are doing no problem then take a 15 minute nap is not a crime yeah, we should not practice this but by this we can energy get energy for coming four hours for our, um, more energy we can feel more energetic sometimes we can take a cup of coffee and we can again come back to our work so these things if we follow these steps if we follow then we can easily control the distraction which are coming to towards uh, towards us during our working time <clears throat> next is balance your life yes balance is so before we have we have heard these terms so many times balancing is very good balance in your life your work and life is very uh, necessary, necessary thing but that uh, the time has been changed now we are in home at our time we are we are present in home but we are not present actually we are present Uh, in our office physically we are present in our home but mentally in our office work mentally we are involved in our office office work so we have to balance this both our work uh, work life and our family life these things we have to balance and for that we have to set our priorities it is not easy to be everything to be ev- to uh, to be everything to everyone we have to play so many role at the same time we may be juggling to be successful in work in relationship with parents with kids because our responsibilities our concern our contribution are all are all are different from everyone our energy our efficiency often run into conflict with each other while playing all the role in our life so priorities is very much important we have to set priorities first what what we need now with the in this time 
what is more important that thing we have to understand and we have to set up and whatever the unimportant thing we should stop it we have to clearly differentiate what is important what is not what is unimportant if I'm presenting now a PPT. If my phone is ringing, I'm not going to pick up that because now this is important. When I'm delivering a lecture, someone is calling, someone is coming and calling me. I, I will not hear that. That is uh, important in that time. But when we I'm in, in my family time, also I will give same attention towards my family. So these important and unimportant, these differentiate, we have to make it very clear in our mind. Play the role. Play the role is same as uh, I, have to, I have to told now. Play the role means wherever uh, we are, in which situation, which position, which timing, that is very important. If I'm in, in, in my class with my students, if I'm in my office with my colleagues, if I'm in with my uh, friends in my leisure time, if I'm is um, uh, involved in, in I, I, I'm involved with my um, uh, uh, leisure time with my some hobbies activity. So every role we should play accordingly. We should not that uh, while talking with our parents, we should not do our office work. While our office work, we should not chat with our friends. So play the role accordingly with our responsibilities is very important. And a routine is very important. A routine for our daily life is very much important because uh, we, if we prepare a proper routine, then only we can keep balance uh, between our life, our personal life with our work life. So to justify our timing and to get uh, keep balance, to get success and keep balance, a proper routine is important thing. And I, in addition with that, I want to say early rising in the morning is the only way to keep balance of everything. If we rise early, if we do some exercise, because nowadays we have to take care of our health, our uh, our mind, everything. We have to be positive always for any adverse situation. So for all, after doing everything, all these things, uh, we have to concentrate to our work. So early rising is the only key to balance, no, not only key, but is the only, I think, a way, a better way to keep balance in everything. No phone zone is like when we are in tough situation. Work from home is kind of tough situation because our family member, they, they are always surrounded us, but they cannot talk with us. So when we complete our work, after that, when we are going to our family, going towards our family going uh, uh, we are sharing something we are gossiping we are um, time quality for family quality time we are spending that time no phone should interact wait whatever it may be if it is social media if it is so many notifications can come and we are scrolling up and we are just not attending or listening then someone feel neglected which is not acceptable and sometimes if we are working so hard sometimes it may come that we cannot get uh, a good amount of appreciation no one can appreciate us no one didn't know uh, someone we um, just um, expected some appreciations from my colleague from our colleague from our um, peers but we we didn't get that so this that time also if sometimes we missed our deadlines then uh, someone may scold us or may we we you know, not feel good you know, that uh, something bad happened today so whatever the experience may be maybe that is good maybe that is bad if we share with our family if we share our work experience with our family if it is good if it is bad whatever it may be then we can keep our mind fresh we can uh, keep calm we can be put we can cope up with this situation. And the main thing is mind control. 
so many lecture session already we have listened how to control our mind so many yoga yard there yard there mode meditation at there so mind control is important thing because, uh, especially for this situation and to keep balance in our life whether we are working from home whether we are not but this is very important to keep be energetic enthusiastic uh, to keep calm in every situation meditation can play a vital role meditation is very important and if we practice this if we practice this for one month for 21 days then day by day we can we can go into it believe me while so, so many days i uh, uh, i did meditation i started meditation but suddenly so, so many uh, uh, so many uh, think so many idea are coming to my mind our mind means our brain and after some time I, i i i felt sleepy and i slept after two or three times practices after day by day practices i achieved the i achieved how to concentrate initially only breath out breath in is only kind of meditation or um, obviously with meditation if we we practice some asan if we practice uh, if we practice only morning walk that also enough to keep our mind refreshed to to keep our mind energetic and, and in this uh, but the last but not least that is stay positive and spread positivity because nowadays what is what is going around us is it's not acceptable actually we didn't know we before one or two years or before six month also this kind of situation will come no one re really realized that and uh, several time we are getting demotivated every time what whatever news if we are uh, opening some news channel in tv anything so only at uh, only bad news is are coming for every day every moment in the situation how to stay positive even though we are staying positive think about our students how to spread positivity amongst them is very much important we have to uh, listen towards our mind start our day with some activity if we concentrate on meditation if we uh, read some positive book or if we listen some positive Uh, take talk some inspirational talk then we can be positive and this we are not, we are teacher we are not only for our only sole responsibility is not only teaching but also understand students feelings how the students is uh, how their reaction how they are um, how they cope up they are the, in this situation how they are fighting that all we have to listen and we have to spray positivity so to in uh, inspire optimism we have to create a positive environment we can keep some motivational quotes as uh, as i said before in the back of my our chair or table uh, we can um, share some motivational speech so something we can do with them with our students so they can so they can relate their uh, they can relate their problem with us they can discuss their problem with us if we decorate our space like a classroom a small um, though the space is small but if we can do that then they can relate their um, uh, they can relate that with their classroom help your students change negative thinking patterns yes so many of us we are not we don't know this all have some negative uh, negative thinking in our mind we are not for positive thinker we have to practice it, it day by day so if in this situation any negative comment any negative argument if anything is with arise among students we have to tactfully handle this and that negative discussion we have to turn into positivity it is not so easy we have to practice it 
along with our uh, speech, for, along with our lecture which we are delivering, we have to practice these also. Now then this will help. After a healthy board, uh, sorry, incorporate a reward system to encourage positivity at all time. Yes, this is very interesting. If for each and every class, if the duration is 50 minutes, say, for 50 minutes, if we are just teaching, teaching, then they will, they will feel bored. For instead of that, if we give lecture 25 to 30 minutes, after that, if we uh, do some playing activity, like some um, quiz competition, some storytelling competition, and after a week, uh, after five days, if we are announcing the name who is uh, um, who is continu who continuously wins the quiz, who is a good storyteller, then we can uh, uh, with some rewards. But nowadays, it's not possible always to rewards them themselves to rewards the students. But a brief a uh, 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 good applause also a reward from teachers from other students to that particular student and it uh, in this way we can spread positivity amongst the student a healthy body makes a healthy mind yes exercise is the only way if we keep healthy our body if we practice some exercise if we um, maintain a routine if uh, up, uh, from we know one word that early to bed and early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. So we have to go to bed earlier. And uh, that late uh, sleeping, we have to um, just discontinue that kind of um, that kind of process, that kind of uh, behavior. Then it will be very good to keep our mind healthily healthy, to keep our mind full of positive energy, and we should uh, tell to our students also some asana some uh, uh, exercise if, if if sometimes we we say that okay from tomorrow to, uh, tomorrow yeah, at five o'clock all will come we all will do asana we all will do exercise then what will happen then uh, automatically students can get interest in this not only students our friends also can get interest in this well, no all we don't know everything we don't know we have to practice it day by day share achievement yes sometimes when so many times our students so many times they said that what uh, why ma'am why should we uh, study why should you read after we don't know where our life is going on some students used to say Kya hoga party? so we we should not um, we should not allow that because that is a kind of depression that is a kind of well, the first step st st of depression so we have to share some achievement uh, the same age another form from another college so many students they are getting job they are um, going they are inventing something uh, they are um, uh, implementing something so these kind of activities this kind of achievement every day in newspaper and or in in some uh, social media we can, we are getting but when we are sharing this with our students then they will feel more enthusiastic they will feel get more positivity share positive quotes positive quotes also can play a vital role if we uh, share positive quotations with our students yes we don't know all quotation we have to practice it and we, if we share sometimes this quotation then they can be they can concentrate they can they can be more focused towards their work and deliver motivational speech we know there are so many motivational speech are readily available in google in youtube any so many TED talks are available but how many of we do really um explore that how many of we and uh, why after explore even though we can explore we can listen that how many days actually we can keep in the it in, in our mind how many days we can keep it i uh, more maximum one month after that i used to forget everything but whatever we listened whatever i listened from my teacher in my childhood in my college life from my grandfather grandmother from my parents that everything is uh, uh, 
is in my short memory everything i can tell so motivational speech whatever is available is not uh, we have to is not the thing okay that is available why should i tell that we have to deliver some speech we have to listen some speech okay we have to take idea we can take idea if we deliver some kind of speech to our students then they can feel more positiveness because in our because we can find our heroes role models in our parents our teachers so if we deliver it then it will be more effective for students i believe so these work from home what are the constraints what are the process that everything everything we know i don't know whatever i uh, realized in my work life i have to jot down i uh, tried to jot down the problem i tried how to um, how to get rid of that those problems and i tried to uh, deliver this uh, we and i have to share this with you so thank you always be positive in mind positive vibes you can spread and um, take positively in life in everything so have a good day please be safe be take care of your health thank you thank you uh, professor preetha i will just shoot the polls So I have shooted the polls, but the okay, interesting. So this poll is some sort of a feedback. Uh, she has wanted from a people. Kindly have a, a look at the uh, order because the order is a slightly here and there today about the answers. So the first answer is agree. The second answer is disagree. Third is strongly agree. Four is uh, not interested so uh, let me go for uh, about one minute again we have already crossed 34 seconds and achieved 46 percent votes till now maybe we will again reach that 50 to 55 percent votes so uh, it's 46 seconds we'll wait for 14 more seconds i request all of you to vote quickly Okay, so we have reached 57, 58. We have reached one minute. Let me close it now. We have reached 52% votes. Let me share this. So 78% agrees with you. 18% strongly agrees with you. 2% disagrees and 2% not interested. So that's a good figure for you. So uh, you get about 96% people are giving you a positive feedback. Okay, thank you, uh, Professor Pritha. I will come ahead with the questions. If you have any comments on that, you can. Otherwise, I go ahead with the questions. Okay, sir. Okay, so uh, the first question from Professor Srima Nondi. Uh, in work from, in fact, that's a single question. Others uh, are maybe one or two comments up there. Uh, first question from Professor Srima Nondi saying, in work from home, we have lost a human touch with our students especially those students who were ad admitted during the 2020 pandemic scenario. How to overcome this? What's your take on it? Yes, uh, in 2020 scenario of uh, who are got admission, we don't know them actually. So we cannot meet them physically. But if we regular keep in touch all departments, if they, um, uh, they call up uh, video conferences and if we interact with them, if uh, not only the subject teachers but all teachers if we interact with them if we share some of our thoughts with them then i can we can we might overcome this um, problem uh, yes uh, that's the thing but uh, most important thing is maybe uh, in google meet also we can call yes, the students yes. sometimes for uh -huh. some for a just uh, maybe chit chat session with the students, mm. teachers and students chit chat session to maybe and request the students to talk. Would you agree with me, Professor Pritha? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Definitely, sir. Okay. It's not okay, about then... all, all 
uh, teaching and learning session, some teacher session, some uh, interaction, gossiping, whatever the extracurricular activity, then they, they it, it will be more uh, effective. We can maybe grab a singing, their... Maybe a singing session, maybe a dancing session, yes, something definitely. like that. Maybe a session where we discuss cricket with the students. Yes. Possible? Okay. Yes. So, Professor Odi Mojumdar, uh, again, Madam has asked, or Madam has not asked, he has comment, she has commented. Uh, she says, you are right. Uh, it's important to wake up early. Uh, early rising helps to balance our whole work life. Yes, absolutely correct, Madam. And we should always move uh, with positive environment. Thank you, Madam. That's a good comment from your side. Uh, Professor Mitha Borat, she says, you can get refreshment by taking a morning tea with your family members. Exactly. And that was what uh, I would have a take also like uh, taking a morning tea with your family members and importantly we are getting to spend a lot of time with your family let us uh, take that as a positive thing uh, but still professor pritha your comments if any yes they definitely say now uh, i am far from home i'm stay, uh, staying uh, wi without my family but uh, in video call also i i do not in the morning in the evening tea i share with my mom with my family it can it can enhance my positivity and their positivity also definitely definitely okay professor jyoti moy haloi says the session was motivational uh Shobhik roy okay is this a question it's quite a long thing maybe not a question maybe a comment but still let me read out quickly work from home in work from home it is must to reduce the burden okay uh, work from home is must to reduce the burden on healthcare providers okay so Professor Shobhi Kroy says it is important that we work from home so that the burden on healthcare providers is reduced, which means, yes, that will break the chain of the deadly virus, which in turn can save our lives and our aged parents with comorbidities most importantly. Thus, we have to be as civil and responsible citizens, do everything that is requested for a successful work from home stay, and keep progressing our institutions. Okay, thank you. Positive and encouraging session. Thank you, Professor Shobhik. Professor Shomavika also says it was a good presentation. Uh, Professor Harshwardhan Singh has got a calm question. How do you focus for work in a fully gathered family? <laughs> yes, uh, it's a challenge. It's a big challenge. But yes, uh, Madam, your take, please. Like in a family, I also like sometimes we do face. Like you cannot tell your daughter or your son that no, you always uh, keep your uh, like you should not shout. You should not call somebody. Uh, like you should not eat, you should not, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't do anything basically because I am taking a class or maybe because I am having a meeting. So uh, it's very difficult. You can understand the problem. So it, it, it take it's very difficult and uh, this situation also happened with me last year when uh, my, my my sister and my me was sharing a same room. Sometimes uh, she got disturbed, sometimes I got disturbed. Then what I did, tactfully I handled it. I just went to her when she was in class and I just uh, keeping something, something. Then um, then, then when keeping doing something, something. Then when she uh, shouted, then when he said, don't come, don't uh, come to me. Now I'm in, a, I, I'm in an important session. Why, why are you disturbing me? Then I uh, said her, the, like this way, I also feel disturbed. Like this way, uh, I know you want me sometimes. Okay, for five minutes, whenever, whenever you want to say something, you can hold it for sometimes. When my important session, when my important task will uh, finish, when I will finish this, I will come to you. Where where I am going, I'm here only. Like that, we have to uh, we have to take this kind of challenge and uh, towards our family and like that. We have to handle it. Okay, thank you, Professor Pritha. And uh, I would like to have uh, uh, your presentation, if possible. The PPT was interesting. The PPT had a lot of content. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you thank so you much. Thanks to all IEM and UEM family members. Thank you.